right? Just like Austin has, home workout, ready to go. Jonathan, very good. That's exactly how you're supposed to be looking at it. So right now what I have is the square root of perfect, square root of 49. Um, m squared t to the eighth. Now remember, the main important thing, this was actually page 90, number 12, wasn't part of your homework, but I'm just gonna go over it as a little bit of a review. So remember the first thing we like to do, guys, is try to break this up. Since we have a product, we can break this up into the square root of 49 times the square root of m squared times the square root of t to the eighth. All right, now this is helpful because these are all different terms, right? So the square root of 49, we know that 49 is a square number, so the square root of 49 is? 7. The square root of m squared is just going to be m. But now we kind of run into a little problem because we have square root of t to the eighth. And we know that the only thing we can figure out is t squared equals t, right? So I want to see, can I rewrite t to the eighth as a product of t squared? And remember, when you multiply variables with exponents, you add the exponents, right? So I could rewrite this. By using this same law, by using the product rule of, of radicals, I can rewrite this as t squared times t squ times the square root of t squared times the square root of t. Actually, hold on. Let me redo it this way. I can rewrite this as the square root of t squared times t squared times t squared times t squared. Does everybody agree with that? That is equal to t to the eighth. Right? Because what do you do when you multiply with exponents? You add the exponents. So this is the same thing. Then, just like here how I split it up, I can split all of these up. So I, this could be 7m times the square root of t squared times the square root of t squared times the square root of t squared times the square root of t squared. Now, you guys don't have to show all of this work, but I'm showing it to you so you guys understand that. Well, now I know what the square root of t squared is. That's t. So then this problem is going to be 7m times t times t times t times t, which is t times t times t times t is t to the fourth. Okay. Yes? You're not dividing by 2 because t squared divided by 2, I mean, that's, not, that's something it's totally different, right? What, what you're doing, the square root, think about it this way. All right, so t squared, are you multiplying by 2? No, what you're doing is you're multiplying t by itself twice, right? So what you could think of, you can think of a square root is pretty much kind of asking you know, how many times you have to multiply a number to get your radicand or what's under there. All right, so it's not really in division, but it's, it's undoing the multiplication of the number by itself. So square rooting is basically finding like the root number that goes into Right, so square root, square root of 16. What number multiplied by itself twice gives you 16? Four. Four. And then you could say, what if I did this, though? Um, what if I said the fourth root of 16? What number multiplied by itself four times gives you 16? And that answers two. So whatever this number is, that's telling you how many times you have to multiply by itself. So for each one of these, you could say, what number multiplied by itself twice gives you t to the eighth. Well, that answers t to the fourth. So you didn't have to show all this work, but I wanted to show it so you guys would have an idea. Or just a pretty reminder. So that is the basics of 